comes the big guns, baby. Free-to-play games were a big part of the PlayStation 4's appeal when it released in 2013. In the last three years, we've seen some massive free-to-play titles arrive on Sony's console, from huge multiplayer shooters like Planet Side 2 to global MMO phenomenon World of Tanks. Hawken is one of the latest to arrive after landing on consoles for the first time since launching in open beta on PC back in 2012. Now this is not a game about slow, lumbering robots blasting each other to pieces like old 17th century naval ships. This is a fast and fluid game with agile mechs capable of dashing around and launching into the air thanks to the use of small jet thrusters. Shooting is responsive and really satisfying, and taking down opponents feels like an achievement. The game's real beauty though lies in the mech's armour and repair system. Most modern multiplayer shooters see players die almost immediately on contact with enemies. That's not the case in Hawken. Many of the mechs available to players can take a real beating. It's not very often you'll find yourself feeling cheated or dying suddenly without explanation. It changes the dynamics of a multiplayer shooter to survive longer than 30 seconds between deaths. Staying alive long enough to strategize with teammates, to think about how you want to attack objectives and fall back when things aren't going your way is a real treat. It lets you feel like a pilot cocooned in your giant war machine, and it's really what sets Hawken apart from most other multiplayer shooters out there. Developers Reloaded have managed to balance the game well enough that these walking tanks don't feel like bullet sponges either. Gun battles feel about as long as they should, and players go down right about the moment you start feeling like they should go down. The mechs themselves look amazing and offer huge variety in terms of gameplay. Each one is quick and responsive, but some offer more speed and agility at the cost of armour and heavy firepower, while others are like moving weapon platforms that might be a little bit less mobile. There are a few game modes to get into as well, with a standard team deathmatch style shootout joined by solo deathmatch, an interesting capture point mode and the thrilling siege mode. This involves teams fueling up their side's massive battleship, which flies dramatically above the map to attack the enemy's base, while also doing everything they can to shoot down the enemy's battleship. The free-to-play system seems reasonable enough, with a solid pay-to-skip-the-grind system in place as opposed to pay-to-win. Having said that, it would take a long while for completionists to unlock all the mechs in the game without spending some cash on XP boosters to speed up their progress or outright buying mech credits, which allows players to spend money on items and mechs in-game without having to earn the XP first. Performance-wise, the game can chug along badly on the PS4 at times. Things slow down to a total crawl on occasion and it can be really frustrating during intense battles. On PC, the game is lightning quick and that's always been key to its appeal, and overall, Performance is disappointing on Sony's console, but it has to be said that the game is still hugely enjoyable and doesn't distract too much once Hawken has had a chance to sink its hooks into the player. The game looks great, particularly the cockpit view, which varies nicely from mech to mech. The environments are breathtaking in places as well, and map variety is excellent. One minute you'll be stomping around in a grim, futuristic urban jungle, the next you'll be jetpacking over frozen snowfields or winding your way through lush green environments. So there's plenty to like about Hawken. Players frustrated by multiplayer shooters in the past might find their home here thanks to the longer gaps between deaths and the free-to-play system which isn't too intrusive. Is it worth your time? Absolutely. My name is Mike Williams. For more video game reviews, stick with Gareth Evans Gaming. Oh no 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 this is bad. This is bad. Why is why is the why is the loo roll just floating? Where's me pills? Battery? No.